This section shows you how to test the stability of a fuel sample and how this can be used to test the compatibility of two fuels. The compatibility test unit is fitted with a timer. For how to set up the equipment, see the timer section in your user manual. When the equipment is heating and is not yet ready to use, it looks like this. When the equipment has heated fully, the timer looks like this. It counts in minutes only, from 0 to 99, and can be reset by pressing the reset button. Shake a representative sample thoroughly just before testing. Heat to aid pouring if necessary. Begin by testing for stability. Pour a sample of oil into a beaker, then pour about 10 milliliters of oil into the sample tube. It will fill to a height of around 30 millimeters. After the unit is fully heated to 100 degrees, place the tube in one of the preheat holes. Press reset, then wait for the timer to count to 20 minutes. Have some test paper ready. Stir the oil with the rod provided for 5 seconds, then remove it without touching the sides of the sample tube. Let the first drop fall back into the tube and direct the second drop so that it falls onto the center of the test paper. Place the paper in the removable tray section and replace it in the oven. Reset the timer and wait for another 20 minutes while the spot dries and develops. Remove the paper and compare it against the spot rating chart in your user manual. Ignore all other characteristics of the spot except the center ring. Any rating other than one means that the oil is likely to deposit sludge to some extent. To find if two fuel oils are compatible, first repeat the sample preparation procedure used in the stability test. Take two fuel samples and place in the preheat holes of the fully heated unit. Press reset and leave for five minutes. Mix these two oils to make a third sample, keeping to the same ratio as the oils are to be mixed in the bunker tank. Place the sample in the remaining hole and wait for 15 minutes. Stir the third sample for 5 seconds, then take a spot sample as before. Spot samples may also be made of the two component oils at this stage if needed. Place the paper or papers in the oven. Press reset and wait for 20 minutes. Remove the paper and compare it against the spot rating chart. Ignore all other characteristics of the spot except the center ring. Again. Any rating other than one means that the oil is likely to deposit sludge to some extent. To summarize, heat the unit, place oil samples in the preheat holes for the required period, carefully prepare the spot test paper, heat this for 20 minutes, compare the result with the spot rating chart.